Hi everyone. Today I'm going to share with you what to do when your soil gets oversaturated. Now we just got back from a trip. We had a ton of rain while we were gone, expecting more next week. And the soil in my containers is super, super wet. Now the reason why this is a problem is because your plants can get root rot. If you planted seeds in the soil and it's way too wet, the seeds will rot, may not grow. So I never thought I'd have this problem here in Southern California. We've got more storms coming next week. So I want to try and help my plants while I can while I have a couple of dry days. The first thing I'm going to do is add some dry material to my soil to kind of help dry things out. So a really good thing to add is compost. It'll add nice aeration to your soil along with adding lots of good extra nutrients. Now this is compost that I made here in my backyard. It's been covered so it's, it's totally dry right now. So this will just help dry out the soggy soil here in my 100 gallon smart pots. Then we'll kind of mix it in so that the soil that's in here is not near as soaking wet. Let me just show you before I do that how wet the soil is. We probably got several inches of rain while we were gone. And you can see it is just soaked and just kind of muddy, holds together uh, way too tightly, too compactly. So the soil definitely needs some aeration here with this compost. I'm just gonna kind of mix it in this is a good thing to do when you have a container that has plants in it, uh, not when you just planted seeds because then you're going to disturb the seeds that you just planted. Now if you don't have any dry compost to help dry out the soil, the second thing you can add are some leaves. Here's some nice dry leaves that were actually in a compost sack that was had a cover on it so it didn't get wet. So I'm just going to add the leaves here to my garden bed, kind of mix them into the soil because that will add good aeration to the soggy, soggy soil. We'll also bring in the worms and just help your soil not get quite so saturated on the next go around. So after I've mixed these in as good as I possibly can with the plants in there, I'm now going to add a nice little heavy layer of leaves over the soil, which will help the water from soaking in quite as much. But the important thing here is to add the aeration to your compacted soil so the roots can breathe and the plants don't get root rot. Step one is to dry out your soil. Step two is to cover your containers. Now this one can be a little bit trickier because you don't want to cover it while it's nice and sunny out because that's the time where you want to, the sun to help dry out your soil. But we are expecting some rain later on. So what I'm going to do is throw this piece of heavy plastic over my container. What you want to do though is put a tall stake in the middle so all the rain runs off and doesn't cave in your plastic on top of your plants. I'm just going to drape this over my container. That way it keeps the rain running down the sides instead of into my soil. Now I'm going to clip it on so it doesn't blow off in the wind. If you're expecting a lot of wind, you might need to use a lot of clips on your plastic cover. Get it nice and secure on the back here. And I can't emphasize enough, make sure you remove your plastic on a sunny day so the sun dries out the soil and so your plants don't fry under the plastic. Keeping it really simple and keeping it practical. Another thing you can use to cover your vegetables is just one of your summer umbrellas. So this is just a market umbrella and just leave it up during the rain. That way you get plenty of airflow still to your plants, but protect your soil from getting too wet. Now the third thing you can do when your containers get oversaturated with water is to add some airflow. Now even the grass is super, super mushy down here, but things are looking really green. But let's head up here and I'll show you how easy this is to do with what you already have on hand. So what you want to do is look around your garden and find some materials that can raise your pots up. So here I've got two blocks of wood. You can use bricks, you can use little plant elevator stands, just use whatever you've got. But basically what this is going to do is provide airflow under the pot. We're going to place the pot on top of it and that way there's better drainage here. Now smart pots already have really good drainage, but lifting it up higher will help dry out the soil and just provide a lot more airflow to the plants. So we're each going to grab a handle of the pot, just put it on top. That way that the water can drain out and the roots have a lot more airflow. Quick review. 
Make sure that you dry out your soil by adding some dry materials such as compost, shredded leaves, cover your containers with a tarp or an umbrella, and then elevate your containers to provide more airflow. Now, I wanna hear down below if you have any other ideas on what you can do to protect your soil from too much rain. And I also want to announce a really fun giveaway. Monday, uh, March 20th is the first day of spring, and we're gonna give away two of our subscription boxes from our very first month. So comment down below what you're excited to grow this spring, and then join us on Monday, March 20th at noon Pacific time for our live stream where we're gonna choose a couple of winners. And we're also having a 25% off sale this weekend over at calicamgardenhome.com on seeds, smart pots containers, books, and garden kits with the code THINKSPRING. So look forward to reading your comments and we'll see you on Monday's live stream.